Aldi has overtaken the cooperative as the fifth largest supermarket in the UK. Now to understand this success story for Aldi, it really brings us to challenge some of the assumptions that has driven retail for the past few years. One of those assumptions was experience as king. Now this makes intuitive sense because when we look across the food marketplace, the food marketplace arena, experience is everywhere and food is cast in an experiential light. When you look to YouTube, Instagram, social media, vloggers speak very much about gastronomy, culinary culture, the experiential aspects of consumption. When we look to TV, we got primetime TV slots booked out by MasterChef, by My Kitchen Rules, that very much puts experience as front line and center. So it's made sense for supermarkets to really up their ante in terms of an experiential shopping encounter for a long time. However, in this post-recessionary period where consumers are a lot more value conscious and are also more critical, more cynical of big business, we gotta realize that the experiential marketing has become seen as transparent. When consumers go to Aldi, Lidl, the discounters, it very much is a bare bones encounter. There's very little there to distract you away from your core shopping mission. And that leads to a sense of authenticity. It is not life affirming or an emotional or even a deeply enjoyable shopping encounter to go to a place like Aldi, but it is almost an authentic experience in a the sense there's very little there to distract you, to overcome you, to do, alter your choice. And we need to take away that learning uh, message is something key for retail management.